state, what is meant by the internal energy of a system? Okay, there's always two definitions that people get confused here. Internal energy is our U equals to kinetic energy plus potential energy. This one is the real definition of the internal energy. People were confused and say, Miss, but what about this one? U equals to Q plus W. That one also internal energy, what? No, 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 no. This one is the first law of thermodynamics. If they ask you to define the first law of thermodynamics, then you talk about that, you. If they just say internal energy, you got to talk about definition. Inside a gas, a liquid, has kinetic energy and potential energy, there is a random distribution. So that's what we got to mention. So we say the sum of a random distribution distribution of kinetic energy i mean if you can write out the whole sentence write out ke i just i'm shortcutting a bit here of ke and potential energy of a system so i look for a sum of ke and pe of a system that's one the second idea can appear in many different forms. Sometimes they say random distribution. Okay, then this one is another mark. Sometimes they will, the masking will say uh, they're looking for particles in random motion. So I'm going to write here. Random motion. Yeah, that works too. Okay. Now we go to part two. Okay, so if part one, they ask about internal energy. Part two, probably related to this equation up here. So explain why for an ideal gas, the change in internal energy is directly proportional to change in thermodynamic temperature. How do we link together internal energy to temperature? Okay, never mind. We will slow down. Let's go back to our U equals to Ke plus Pe first. Hey, not cancel lah. Uh, this one. Okay, if this is an ideal gas, we can throw away our potential energy. Did they say it's an ideal gas? Yes, they did. Right here, ideal gas. Ideal gas means there is no intermolecular forces, so no potential energy. So maybe I'm going to start explaining that first. So an ideal gas, ideally, has no inter molecular forces what does that mean no force no potential energy okay so no potential energy in other words potential energy is zero you can also mention that okay great what does that mean so now we only have u equals to ke because if there's no pe already zero it's just u equals k so we say uh, so, internal energy is only the kinetic energy of the particles. In other words, what you have left is just U equals to Ke. Next, we need to make the link to temperature. Because they want to say how you link internal energy to thermodynamic temperature. Okay, so when you think temperature in kinetic theory is related to kinetic energy. So we can say, say equation for this. Uh. Oh, yeah, there, there, there is, there is. It's the one where it goes, uh, where to write? Uh. Kinetic energy is 3 over 2 kT. Vaguely remember this is the equation for ideal gas. Kinetic energy of a molecule depends on temperature. I'm going to rewrite that down there also, so no worries. So we can say that since kinetic energy is proportional to thermodynamic temperature, that's based on our equation where you have uh, kinetic energy 3 over 2 kT, 
Therefore, we make the final link. Internal energy is proportional to temperature. Or rather, change in internal energy is proportional to change in temperature. If you want to write out the equation step by step, uh, yeah, you could write that here. So, recap. U equals to Ke plus zero, no potential energy. And U equals to Ke is 3 over 2, uh, this is for the whole gas, right? Okay, la, NKT for the whole gas. So you can say, oh, therefore, a change in U is proportional to change in T. That's where we get this. That's the thought process. Make sure you know how to link together all these ideas. So first mark. Uh, first mark is from uh, no molecular forces, no potential energy. Second mark is, okay, so it's only U equals to Ke. This one shows that you know what is the equation for internal energy. La, U equals to Ke plus Pe. Third one, you make the link to temperature. Ke is proportional to temperature, this one. Okay, that's how you can write out the explanation. Next is a calculation. A cylinder of certain volume contains helium at certain pressure and temperature, T. Helium may be considered to be an ideal gas consisting of single atoms. Calculate the number of helium atoms in the cylinder. Uh, okay, so we... Hmm. PVNT. I would highly recommend you use this one. P V equals to N K T. You may be tempted if you take chemistry to use the other variation, which is P V N R T, which is okay as long as you know how to convert the N. The N here is different, let me warn you. This small N is moles. This big N is number of molecules. And which one do the masking one? Number of atoms. They want a number. They want big N. So, recommended, use this one. Although your chemistry might be more comfortable with the chemistry one. It's an extra step. Okay, let's plug in all the values we know. So, pressure, 6.4 times 10 to the 6. Volume, 1.8 times 10 to the 4. Oh, there's a trap! Look! Centimeter cube. Centi. Must convert the centi. A lot of people forgot to convert this. Okay, so 10, negative 2, cube. Please remember. Number, we need to find that. K is a Boltzmann constant. Uh, it's in the data formula sheet in the first page of every question booklet. Boltzmann constant. This one is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23. So we can write that. Write it down or memorize it. Ah. Okay, so 1.38 times 10, negative 23. Temperature, mm, must convert to Kelvin. So 25 plus 273. The purpose of this is to convert your Celsius to Kelvins. That's the unit we use in all these ideal gas. If all goes well, we press calculator correctly. It happens sometimes. You miss a square somewhere, miss an alphabet. You should get a number of about 2.801 times 10 to the 25. That'll be roughly about 2.8 times 10 to the 25 number of particles. So PVNRT, I'm not going to show it here, but this one, not recommended if possible. Unless you want to find moles, ah, but mm, physics usually very rarely. Ah, usually that will be chemistry. Okay, I think that's the end of this question. Right. Okay, it's all for this video. See you in the next one.